Hey there everyone. So in this video, we'll be creating an MCP server in TypeScript that fetches the latest documentation for any given NPM package. So the problem that we are trying to solve here is, you know, if you're working on a JavaScript project in an AI based IDE like cursor, so, and um, when you import an NPM library in your project and ask cursor to do, to do the implementation for you, Cursor often make mistakes. Cursor may not be following the official documentation of the NPM package, or it might be, you know, following the outdated documentation for that given NPM package. So with this MCP server, we are going to ensure Cursor or whichever, you know, LLM based IDE that you're using will always get the up to date documentation of the NPM package that you're using. All right, let's begin. So I have, I'm using cursor ID here and we'll be using, you know, cursor agent to wipe code most of this project. So, yep. So I've installed, uh, you know, TypeScript and all the dependencies required. So let's start by installing the model context protocol TypeScript library. So npm i model context protocol slash sdk here all right so we have installed the mcp typescript sdk here now we have to create server equals new mcp server we have to um name and version so that's it yep so now import this mcp server yep all right that's it. So we have created a new MCP server um, and the name of the server is npm package docs MCP and the version is initialized. Now we have to register the tool uh, using server dot register tool. So um, yep, we have to name the tool as get docs for npm package. And then we have we should have a title and description for this tool. So this is the tool that will be called by the um, you know the LLMs to get the README documentation for um, a particular npm package. Right. Um, yes. Now we need to define the input schema, like, you know, how the LLM should pass the input uh, while calling these tools. For that, we have to use the input schema object. And we just need only one input parameter, that's the package name. And the, the, for defining the, you know, to, for validating the package name, we, really, we have to use the Zode library here. Yes, so import Zode library and describe um, name of the package. Um, I hope this is clear. So when the LLM calls this tool get docs for npm package, it has to provide the name of the package. So we have defined the input schema here with some validation rules using this old library. All right. Next thing is to define the the function, the tool call function here. So the input to that function is obviously just the package name. So from inside this tool um, tool call function, we have to find the GitHub repository for the given npm package, and then find the readme.md file from the GitHub repository, extract the contents, the markdown contents of that GitHub repo, and then return it back as simple text. So for that, we have to use the official npm registry API um, that is here. So registry.npm.npmjs.org slash model um, context protocol slash sdk. Um, so if you do this, we will get some JSON response like this. Um, inspect the JSON so inside the JSON we will have all the required details but we need just this part the repository object with uh, and the URL the github repo 
we need some cleaning on this URL, but this is what we need. And once we have this URL, um, we can navigate to that repository and get the readme.md file. So readme.md file, if you look here, we need the raw file URL. So let's inspect the raw um, URL of the readme file. So this should be the final um, you know, URL from where we should fetch the markdown content of the readme file. So we need this as well. So let's go ahead and implement this. First thing, registry response equals wait fetch uh, registry.npmjs.org slash package time and we need the JSON. Right. So we'll have the JSON here and just for proper typing we'll just define repository URL string. All right, so we have the response here. Now we need to get the GitHub repository URL registry response of repository URL here. Now we need to clean this URL. Um, const GitHub URL equals we'll turn this into a URL object here repository URL which will have the um, you know, the git prefix we have to remove that git prefix all right we have removed the git and now we need to extract the um, you know this part that is the model um, the github username slash the repo URL and we also need to remove this dot git at the end um, so for that we have to use repository path equals yeah so git from the github url we'll just extract the substring and we'll remove the dot get at the end of the url all right now let's read the readme url equals right so this is how we'll um, get the content of the readme.md file and here we assume that the branch name is by default main but if you need i mean in the real case you might need a different implementation that checks for uh, different branch names like master main um, you know things like that All right now we need to get the readme response fetch okay and we get the text response from this url and we will just return the URL, uh, the content of the readme file in this format. So when the LLM calls this tool get docs for npm package with the package name, we'll execute this function, find the content of the readme.markdown file, and then return the, uh, the, the, you know, the raw content of the readme file. All right. Now we need to define a, um, you know, the main function. We have to define the transport for this um, MCP server. So for this MCP server, we'll be using the standard uh, input output. We'll just import that here. Yeah. We have imported the standard um, input output server transport here and then connect it with the server. And all right, so that means we, we have started the um, NPM package docs MCP server here. So we will use the uh, you know MCP inspector tool to check if our MCP server is working properly. So we'll type this. Um, we'll run this inspector tool, and then we'll navigate to this pre-filled URL. Just click on connect. Okay, that means our MCP server is connecting. Now let's click on list tools and we can see that the tools um, has been listed get docs for npm package and okay so this is the package name so we'll just copy this package name here 
and let's paste it here see so now you can see that the tool is fetching the markdown format the markdown i mean the readme.markdown file and giving the entire content of the file back to the llm so it can um now you know get the details on how to use this npm library properly without hallucinating on the implementation details all right so that's that's clear all right so to test our mcp server in real life i'm going to create a new project in cursor and ask the agent here to um you know type code an mcp server using the mcp typescript sdk can you create a you know uh mcp server using the model context protocol or sdk um mcp server in node.js using the with one tool for fetching the weather for a given city for now let's just mock the weather response without calling any apis all right let's see if it's creating All right, now it's creating all the required files. Let's see how the, all right. See, it's creating the new server, um, set request handler. Uh, so this is totally different from what's written in the official documentation of the MCP server. Um, TypeScript library because the cursor the LLM doesn't have access to the latest documentation of the model context protocol TypeScript library so we'll do one thing we'll we'll just um, add the MCP server that we just created so for that go to settings tools and integrations Okay, all right. Um, NPM package, yeah. All right, so let's see. Uh, all right, so looks like our MCP server has been now added to um, cursor. Now let's delete all these codes that has been generated, create a new chat and use the same prompt. Can you create an MCP server in Node.js using the model? Okay, right. Make sure to check the latest documentation. All right, and let's see what's happening. So it's calling our tool. You know, it just called the tool that we just added to our MCP server get docs for npm package and it even got the entire readme file um, markdown file injected back into the llm so now let's see how it's going to create the server.js file right it has some mocks and everything yep now it's correct see if you look here you can see that it's calling the server dot register tool just like we created as per the official documentation so yeah so it's working so it even has some additional uh, things uh, as per the official documentation like you know it's not even just registering the tool it it in it also adds um resources so whether forecast tool right so yeah this seems to be working so now the implementation is proper because it it was the LLM, the, the cursor was able to browse the latest documentation from the GitHub repo for the model context protocol um, uh, TypeScript SDK. When you are using an AI IDE like cursor, 
um, using these kinds of MCB tools, you can make sure it always gets the up-to-date information instead of just, you know, relying on what it learned during the training phase because that might have been um, outdated already. So yeah, so I hope now you understood how to create an MCP server. So by the way, I would just uh, you know simplified the aspect of creating the MCP servers. We just have a simple tool here with no authentication or anything like that. So I'll be creating another video that explains um, you know all the architecture of MCP servers and uh, yep. So that's all for this video. So thanks for watching. See you in another video. Bye.